two households both alike in dignity in fair Verona where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new immunity where civil blood, blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Whole misadventure piteous th overthrows to with their deaths bury their parents' strife. The fearful passage of their death marked love and the continuous of their parents' rage, which, but their parents' end, not could remove, is now the two hours' traffic of our stage, the which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss our toils shall strive to mend. Gregory, oh my word, we'll not carry coals. <laughs> no, for them we should be colliers. I mean... And we be in choler will draw. I, while you live, draw your neck out, O oh, the collar. I strike quickly, being moved. But thou art not quickly moved to strike. Dog house of Montague moves me. To move is to stir, and to be valiant is to stand. Therefore, if thou art moved, thou runst away. A dog of that house shall move me to stand. I will take the wall of any man or maid of Montague's. That shows thee a weak slave, for the weakest goes to the wall. True, and therefore women, being the weaker vessels, are even thrust to the wall. Therefore I will push Montague's men from the wall and thrust his maids to the wall. The quarrel is between our masters and us their men. Tis one, I will show myself a tyrant when I have fought the, with the men. I will cruel with the maids and cut off their heads. The heads of the maids? Aye, the heads of the maids, or their maid head, maiden heads. <laughs> take it in what I sense thou wit. They must take it in sense that feel it. Me they shall feel while I am able to stand, and tis known I am pretty piece of flesh. Tis well thou art not fish, if you hast thou hast been poor John, draw thy tool. Here comes two of the house of the Montagues. My naked weapon is out. Coral, I will be back thee. How? Turn thy back and run. Fear me not. No, Mary, I fear thee. Let us take the law of our sides, let them begin. I will frown as I pass by, and let them take it as they list. Nay, as they dare, I bite my thumb at them, which is disgrace to them if they bear it. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? I do bite my thumb at you, sir. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Is the law on our side if I say I? No. No, I do not bite my thumb at you, sir, but I bite my thumb, sir. Do you coral, sir? Coral, sir? No, sir. But if you do, I am for you. I'm as good as man as you. No better. Well, sir. Say better, sir. Here comes one of my master's kinsmen. Yes, better, sir. You lie! Draw if you be men. Gregory, remember thy washing blow. <laughs> Hark, fools, put up your swords. You know what you do. <laughs> what art thou drawn upon these heartless hides? Turn thee, Benvolio! I do but keep the peace. Put up thy sword, or manage it to part these men with me. What? Drawn in talk of peace? I hate the word, as I hate hell, all Montagues and thee. How about thee, coward? Break it up, the prince is coming. Oh. 